I'm Heather. And I'm Curtis. And we're Travels of Heather and Curtis on YouTube. We're Travels of Heather on Instagram. And we live in our self-converted 2006. Dodge Sprinter. Yeah, we met in the city. We used to live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and we both like worked in the, not worked, we wanted to work in like the comedic arts. So I went to Humber College for a writing and performing program and Heather went to RADA in London, England to take Shakespeare, which is like the OG funny, but yeah. not so much now. We met at a comedy show. We both worked in the food service industry. Uh, when we did work and we, we, met. we met and fell in love and got married, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I won't bore you with that stuff. Curtis is pretty funny, I'm just gonna say, because he was in a really good sketch troupe and we met at a comedy show yeah. and tried to do, to be a comedic duo. And then we got married. Yeah, and, and then we started traveling and we fell in love yeah. with like backpacking. And that's kind of what started us down the road towards this because we liked nomadic movements. We liked, uh, minimalism like living out of a backpack was great mm. but then like and traveling too like yeah. seeing new places and just experiencing but things right after we got we started dating we got a cat and we don't want to give her up uh even to like live at like parents places like while we travel so we decided the only way to have that feeling and to keep a cat was to buy a van and to live in a van <laughs> and it was a process that took us like well, we got married seven years ago. So after we got married, we left everything, apartments, jobs, which were not that, they weren't careers. We left everything and went backpacking Europe for four months. And then within like a few months of coming back, we didn't settle down. We just booked tickets for like another trip. So we basically saved, we would just save for a whole year and our entire lives revolved around saving for travel. And then we would travel. And then we sat down and we were like, we're getting to like our mid thirties. We can't sustain this and we were miserable in our jobs. We were miserable working for other people because we're creatives as well. So we like, you want to write, I want to draw. We both want to create and inspire people. And you can't do that when you're working. So like life wasn't good and we love to travel and we weren't making a lot of money. So we just, I got a little bit of an inheritance and we saved for a lot, another year and then got a van and started building a home because our plan was that way we would have a home base and get to travel and then still get to go on backpacking adventures and travel and see the whole world and then also see the world in our van and then also the dang cat <laughs> could come along. Okay. You know, so this was really for the cat. The van was for the cat. Like the most like unique things about our van are, as I'd say, our electrical system, which like uh, is definitely wrong. I would say <laughs> we don't have like any bus bars or any like thing like that. It's just all mounted on an aluminum panel for as like a heat sink and like the negative like connections. I don't even really understand it exactly. I know enough to make it work, um, and it hasn't failed us yet. Yeah, we got enough. <laughs> the solar. end. Yeah, for for. 100 watt panels on the roof, 250 amp hour AGM batteries, and it works for like everything we have. Uh, and the most important thing, I think, I guess, should I start in the living room? The living room area, the back of the bus, so to speak. We've got the cat, but we um, get a lot of flack for the fixed bed, un like convertible bed, or there's a big debate, and we went with a convertible bed, which we do switch every single day. Uh, but we the couch... We have it down to like a minute and a half, almost. Yeah, the couch for us was a big thing about the build, was we wanted the couch and we wanted the lagoon table leg, which is impossible to get in Canada, so that you can sit on the couch. This sort of inspired the whole build, this little area <laughs> right here, and this comes in and out. But actually, important feature, this 
we just um, hacked this out because this was a mistake. So we're kind of going about telling you about our build in a weird backwards way. But most of our build was covering up mistakes because it is a DIY build. And that I think is now something we're proud of, but <laughs> yeah. at the time caused like so much stress and doubt because when you're building a van, you don't know what you're doing. It's just anxiety 24 seven and like poop and bricks. And then you finish the van and it feels awesome, even though it's not perfect. So most of this van tour will maybe be highlighting mistakes. Yeah. Do you want to show them the kitchen or? Sure, actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> Like I said before, like we worked in the food service industry, so we really like cooking and entertaining. So we have like a full bar fridge, um, but it's it says that it takes like super low power, and so far it has. But like we didn't want a cooler because we didn't want to like dig through stuff. And then we have like a full oven with a stove top, uh, and we can knock some pretty cool things out of there. I think we have. Dough, rising pizza dough, rising in the oven. Although I don't know how warm it is in here, but that's okay. Um, mm. but yeah, so cooking was very important to us. And that runs off propane, yeah, just well, a yeah. five gallon tank, which is like seven Canadian a month. Which isn't bad, yeah. And then oh, I think the, the ceiling is interesting because we went the other way uh, and it doesn't look bad, but it was a hell of a lot easier to put together <laughs> than like cutting like specific lengths, so. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of it too was built from like the budget, like we didn't have much money to throw around. So we tried to do like the nicest thing, but then also the cheapest thing. So this is recycled barn board. This is recycled pallet wood, all from my sister's farm. And most of the stuff in the van is either from a dollar store, a thrift store, a secondhand store, an actual farm or then or the cheapest home thing depot. at home depot yeah or the cheapest thing and these even these cleverly disguised things you may recognize them as ten dollar walmart crates and that was just because actually we didn't really build them proper supports for upper cabinets so <laughs> that's how that worked but they they actually like did quite well and in hindsight i like it because we've been able to move them around and switch our storage up and we could always add more later. Uh, and then some of the objects in the van are actually found things like this was a, is a this, stick. It currently is it a stick. It still is a stick. But now it's a decorative stick that we use to stop things from falling off our shelves. Which, which still great. happens every once in a while, but yeah. I don't think there's anything you can do to make sure that nothing's gonna yeah. fall. Uh, we have yeah, running, running water with a SureFlow pump that like leaks a little bit in the bottom. Uh, and our bathroom <laughs> is this. Um, it opens up and uh, there's like a shower curtain inside. So like that, the shower curtain connects across there and gives the illusion of privacy. You know what you're doing, you know, we know what we're doing in there, but. Uh, it gets hard in the window because you just get tangled in the curtain. Yeah, and then this is, this door is crooked, very crooked, but whatever. It's yeah. our van. It's kind of nice to have it be different because some of the, maybe this is what we tell ourselves, but the nice professional vans are like really, really nice. And this one just kind of has like, it's more our speed. It's more our style. It's got like a kitsch <laughs> factor. Uh, we wanted to go with like old hag that lived in the woods cottage who had really modern tastes. Sweet, where can they find you online? Uh, you can find our the channel, Travels of Heather and Curtis. On the YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. And then I'm Travels of Heather on Instagram, and we like story a lot together. So it's it's my yeah, yeah. my Instagram, and, and then and I am He Who Ruins Pizza on Twitter. If people use Twitter anymore, and are like <laughs> nerds, you do your yes, sci-fi fiction. Yes, I do my nerds, sci-fi fiction, fantasy, comedy stories. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, covers Thank it. you. Hey guys, thanks for showing us your van. See you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye, kitty. Say bye. Oh, bye. Bye, kitty. Acknowledge. Perform. Acknowledge. Perform. Acknowledge us. <laughs> Fine. You're cute. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Thank you. I hope that works. It's so weird doing tours. But. Bye. 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 <laughs>